Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. You know what that means. Market outlook time. We're going to take a look at this week in FIFA Ultimate Team and kind of look ahead and think what kind of market movements we have. What can we kind of prepare for with ones to watch promo going on with the content we're getting along with that and some other SBCs and market movements that we might see this week, including the possible first weekend league coming later this weekend that'll be really interesting if that does come and that will cause a lot of market movements later in the week with rivals rewards with extra demand for people wanting to get the best team possible for the upcoming weekend league in the first weekend league of fifa 21 so that's going to be very interesting to follow so we're going to take a look at all that and we're going to start into it with actually looking backwards look at yesterday's content from sunday because it kind of leads me into talking about what types of sbcs we might see this week inside of FIFA 21 related to the ones to watch promo. So obviously yesterday on Sunday, we had the Huang He Chen SBC, the Korean that was uh, is on Leipzig at the moment. I looked at some stats and so far he's only played in two games. He's come off the bench as a sub. And this is a ones to watch live item. Of course, if he gets any sort of man of the match item, I mean, there's obviously their Leipzig is gonna be in some of the German cups. Um, they are in the Champions League, I believe. And uh, I think they're in Champions League. I could be wrong about that. I'm not entirely sure. But I think they're in either Europa League or Champions League. So there's some possible man of the match stuff that you could be getting from those, I think, that would upgrade this card. So any performance-based boost obviously doesn't seem like he's playing as a starter right now for Leipzig. He's coming off the bench. But this is one thing I want to say about this, right? This is a really, really cheap SPC. If, if you don't mind putting away, I think it's like, what? It's really cheap to do this SPC right now. Like... I don't think it's more than like 15k for an 82 rated squad or something like that. If you have 15,000 coins or like if you just want to, you know, sit down and trade for 20 minutes and make 15 to 20,000 coins by flipping cards and paying for the SBC that way, all it takes is this guy to get one inform and he's going to an 80 run 81 rated card and that inform will be pretty saucy because this card has a lot of hype running this game. This has been in a lot of OP starter teams and if he gets one or two informs this card's gonna look pretty cracked. He would go to an 81 rated card. He might have somewhere around like 95 pace, almost 80 shooting, mid 70s passing over 80 dribbling in the 70s on physical. I think he's four star, four star. People are loving this card as an OP beast. And all I'm saying is it just takes one or two informs and this card could be really, really nasty. So I might be completing this even for my club as a potential super sub down the line, just because this guy's really good. So I'm expecting maybe one more or maybe even two more player SBCs related to ones to watch live items this week. Now, technically that is the first ones to watch SBC that we have had. That is a pure SBC, nothing related to a vote because obviously the Tiago Silva SBC was related to the vote. And other than that, we've only had two player of the month SBCs, which we're expecting a third player of the month soon. I'll talk about that in a second, but I would expect another one or maybe even two ones to watch SBC players coming out this week. I would say maybe I would lean towards just one. I know it's the early game. They've been putting out content pretty regularly though. Um, so I would almost expect another SBC player for an actual uh, player SBC later this week. And that could bring some interesting market movements, of course, as we do know. Um, and then one thing I do think we can 100% expect this week are more SBCs like this, the Newcomers Challenge or the Werner is Blue SBC. Obviously these two packs, didn't give out much, a 75 plus rated player pick and a two rare gold players pack. But this is kind of the time last year, the second or third week of FIFA last year is when EA started putting out all these pack supply SBCs, kind of like, you know, a 25K pack here, a 15K pack SBC here. And what it did was it created a lot of crashing market movements and a lot of, you know, the, the market would dip in the afternoon when people would open the packs, then it would kind of rise back up. So, I would start to expect maybe a bit more higher quality packs from these SBCs soon. I'm really curious to see if what EA wants to do with the market this year, if they want to kind of, because last year everybody was like, this game is so dead, prices are dropping because every single day they're crashing the market. Now that actually makes it incredible to trade in with a daily trading cycle because you have cards that get supplied, but then they're highly demanded. So they pop right back up because people, you know, get more coins from the SBC and then they go buy the, that player. So there's a lot of market movements that happen around those SBCs. That's why I'm not necessarily looking forward to them, but almost just ready and prepared to them after what happened last year. And I, I feel like EA is going to do that again. So expect a few more SBCs like this 
throughout uh, the next this next week of Wants to Watch, although we have two weeks left, technically, of the Wants to Watch promo. That's kind of all I'm expecting in terms of like SBC content this week. Probably just those two things, pack supply SBCs, maybe an OTW SBC here or there, maybe a kit SBC, who knows. Uh, and then do I think we get another objective player? I don't think so. I would feel like if there's another objective wants to watch coming, it would come next Friday. Um, and we'd get another wants to watch objective kind of like this Jota, but we'll see if that happens or not as well. Other than that, like the next SBC that I'm kind of just expecting this week. Now, of course there could be more content than this, but this is all that we kind of expect at the moment. I'm expecting a player of the month for the Bundesliga. Now we've already had Premier League. We've already had La Liga. Now we're due the Bundesliga player of the month. It seems to be like Cramrich is going to run away with this vote and win for sure because of the number of goals that he scored. He had five goals in two games in the month of September, which is what this player of the month award is going to be given out for. Uh, Navri had three goals. Um, Kimmich was in the voting. He had, two, he had one goal and two assists. Uh, and Sané had one goal, two assists as well. But five goals, goals are usually the thing that win these player of the month awards when you perform really well and you score goals. Usually EA does reward it um, to the person that has the highest amount of goals if their team performed well as well. So obviously Hoffenheim, they won both of their games in the month of September as the season was starting off. So I would expect a Kramer HSBC this week. Will that mess with the market too much? It shouldn't just because this card isn't super meta, unless they give him a crazy upgrade, it might just end up being kind of an SPC fodder type of card. But I did want to update you guys and kind of just talk to you about that SPC is probably coming. Is there really ways you can invest for this? Probably not. If you want to buy some Bundesliga players on like cheapest players by rating. I mean, all these cards are really cheap. Again, I would highly recommend, you know, we just had squad battle rewards. Maybe if there's a day this week where we have one of those pack supply SBCs and they give out like a 25K pack or maybe even just a 15K pack or some sort of Electrum players pack as a tradable reward. And some of these 81, 82, 83, even 84, 85 rated players get supplied. Some of these guys are up a little bit because of the Ansu Fati SBC, but you can still pick up a bunch of these on bid for really cheap. There's just not a lot of demand for SBC cards yet. And not a lot of SBCs have come out that are requiring these, these squads. So... Uh, these cards are very, very good club stock investments as we continue to head on through the year. More and more SBCs are going to come out. So just, just preparing your club for that. If you have enough coins to do that, you could chuck some of these cards in the club. I'm going to be mentioning that like in multiple videos, all, honestly, every week, just because I want you guys to get ready for when those big SBCs do come. And if you have a club full of players right away, when those first big SBCs come out, which make these cards boom in price, uh, you're going to be sitting really, really good. And you're going to be glad that you invested in some of those cards when we have SBCs coming. So that's just kind of something you can do that's kind of ahead of time still, stocking the club with that and just preparing for SBCs down the road. Other content that we could see this week. Hopefully, and I mean, hopefully, man, we finally see those deadline day packs, right? We haven't actually gotten the deadline day packs yet or our preseason packs, right? I think it says here on this the, the pitch notes for the launch update, the preseason rewards are going to be granted by October 16th. And that is also the date that that deadline pack with the untradeable team of the week player is supposed to be granted by. So it, I thought it was going to be on Saturday, which would have been the first day it was available. For whatever reason, EA has something else up their sleeve and it doesn't look like that's going to be granted. Uh, who knows when it's going to be granted now? I thought it was going to be Saturday. We honestly have no idea. So it's probably going to be some sort of random day. And that'll be EA's content is they just drop the preseason rewards. I mean, shoot, they might even drop this on the 16th of October as like the Friday content as part of the Friday content for set two of ones to watch. That could be something that we look at this week and kind of expect and maybe look forward to. I hope it comes out earlier though. Just make this some random midweek content EA. That'd be really fun and dope if you did that. So hopefully they drop those this week and hopefully we get those packs this week because that would be very fun. But Speaking on what's going to happen throughout the rest of this week, the first ever. Now, this isn't confirmed yet by the schedule in the game, but from a lot of people, this is what the word on the street is. October 16th, that weekend, right? This upcoming Friday would be the first foot champions weekend league. Now, if you click on the schedule right now, it says there are no foot champions events available or scheduled. I think they are going to put a event in here very soon, and we are going to have weekend league this weekend. So, with that being said, what does that do for the market this week? I think what that's going to do is, especially when they announce this, people are starting to expect it, but when they announce it for sure, 
and especially at rewards this week on Thursday, I do think you will see a nice cheeky rise in a lot of cards on this game that are very meta. You know, guys like Joe Gomez, we've already seen, as I'm as I'm recording this, we are a couple hours after uh, squad battle rewards. A guy like Furlan Mendy, who was chilling around 100,000 coins all day, is kind of rising around that right now into the night. That was a little bit of a snipe right there. He was 100,000 coins at rewards, and right now he's 115,000 coins. As people are buying meta cards, they have more coins, they're getting coins from rewards. They got their pre-order packs as well, and they're buying cards for their team. And I continue to see that happen throughout the rest of this week. Meta cards, informs that people are going to upgrade in their teams. Team of the week one and two type stuff. Um, I would expect these types of cards and very meta players to rise throughout the week this week. Um, just because of people upgrading their teams and wanting to get better players in their squads. Now, a lot of these guys are really cheap already, right? Werner was like 290 before rewards. He's up a little bit. Havertz is up some. Gomez is up some. Rashford is up. And a lot of these prices have been fluctuating all over the place just because of, you know, random things. But I feel like the really meta players are going to start to separate themselves this week um, and, and definitely start to continue to rise as people buy meta cards for their weekend league teams. They get those coins and they put all those coins into a squad they can help them perform the best for the weekend. So definitely on Thursday at Division Rivals Rewards, it's going to be a big Thursday flips week this week. We're going to be focusing on a lot of stuff that is meta, that is usable, that is high rated, that a lot of people want to put in their squads that maybe hasn't risen up just yet, maybe like a final piece or two. And we'll try to find some cheap prices on Wednesday and look at for those investments headed into Thursday with rewards. That's going to be a fun time. One thing you can also start to do is some of these cards really haven't moved too much that could be in ones to watch set two. So maybe you want to buy a Havertz or a Sané or a Van de Beek for your team and they actually haven't got confirmed into ones to watch yet. And they're still kind of chilling at a lower price. This uh, this Havertz card was 100,000 coins tonight right before rewards. And it, technically it has not been confirmed by EA Sports, but it was leaked actually during one of the Chelsea games, one of the first few Chelsea games this year on the side panel like um, on the on the board, one of the side boards on the pitch, it showed a ones to watch hazard, or sorry, a ones to watch Havertz card. So it seems to me like Havertz and Sané would probably be in line for getting a ones to watch anyway with the big transfer like he had. Just watching some of the cards like this early in the week, if you do see them dip, maybe Monday, Tuesday, you could get in early as a possible out of packs investment um, on of course, if you're going to make an out-of-packs investment, I would make it on a card that is going to be hyped and usable, right? If their gold card goes out of packs, there would still be demand for that player. I feel like Havertz and Sané would fit that uh, to a T. Van de Beek would be another one that could be decent. Um, of course, you look at guys like Bale, like Allen, and like Werner, who are that same example of player. Very meta, hyped up for the transfer, and also very OP in game and usable in game. A lot of people want them. Those cards have really done well since they went out of packs. Bale was 80,000 coins when he went out of packs. He's now up at 100,000 coins. Allen is up. Werner was like 240. Now Werner is like 310,000 coins. So I really like Havertz and Sané and Van de Beek. And there's probably a couple other ones that are out there. Transfers that could get ones to watch us for team two. Uh, that I have not mentioned. Tiago could be one, but he's not really like usable as a card in FIFA. At least not super usable. So those are investments early on this week if you see a dip in price. Now, I already mentioned that Havertz is up a little bit. He's 111. He was just 100K. Maybe you see him drop at some point in the first two or three days, but those cards are probably going to start rising because that's going to be a popular investment for a lot of people this week too uh, as we go into the later latter parts of the week. And then, of course, if you're looking to like trade and make some coins this week, uh, this is going to be the kind of the start of the trading grind where you know, some of these lower rated players that are in the popular are going to start to fall to the wayside, right? We've been talking about Richarlison. He's still meta. Militao, pretty meta. Adama, still pretty meta. But a guy like Sissoko, you know, he's still very meta as well. But some of these players like a Klosterman or, you know, Rafinha, Emre Chan, Tomori, um, some other, you know, 80 rated and below players that have maintained a higher Upamakano possibly. Some of these players are going to, people are going to start upgrading them in their teams and they're going to start to fall off. You know, Alex Teixeira is another one that I think of off the top of my head. Low rated players that have maintained a higher price already till now, they're probably going to start to trickle off just because more and more supply comes out and people are just going to naturally upgrade their teams, right? The upgrade can happen pretty fast in this game when you're packing Squad Battle Rewards tonight had juiced pack luck, like crazy pack luck, man. We were on stream opening some packs, link in the description, cheeky plug. 
and we, we were packing insane. I packed Dybala tonight, wants to watch Ake, Inform Courtois, um, other cool Bali we packed. We packed some crazy cards at Rashford. We packed some nuts cards tonight from Squad Battle Rewards. It was like EA just turned the pack weight up. And that just puts more coins on the game for people to uh, to be, to be you know, putting into their teams and investing in meta players and buying cards and having more coins to spend on big name players and big time players like Informs and Wants to Watches and meta players they want to be buying for their team. So that can raise the market even further and even quicker earlier this week because of that. I wanted to talk about team of the week just for one second again. These guys did uh, boost up a little bit at rewards. Holland is kind of staying the same, but it looks like Gucci headband, St. Maxman's re rebounding up a little bit right now. Um, same with Teo Hernandez. And Renato is up a bit too. He was at 56K before rewards. Now it looks like he's around 60. I would expect these cards to keep rising. And I want to talk about once to watch cards as well, because this is gets interesting here. Tonight, these guys have risen a bit, right? I, I bought a Teles tonight at 135, I think. 136, I think, on stream. I bought a Teles uh, before rewards. And I knew that this is like the only version of Teles that's on the market right now that's Premier League, right? Because obviously, Teles has got his Porto card. Um, but who wants to use a Porto Teles when you get the Man United links for the you know, the newly transferred Telus. So he's 147. He's up a little bit. The one thing I'm not sure about with these OTW cards, and I want to show you back here on one of these pages we looked at already, is just what is going on with Team 1 and Team 2. Obviously, Team 1 is in packs for a week. Team 2 is in packs the next week. But it says here, October 21st onwards, this is for the guaranteed team of the, the ones to watch pack. You could pack a Team 1 or 2 player. And the way that they worded this message in game last Friday was also a bit confusing because it almost sounded like that we were going to be able to have a third week of the ones to watch promo where we would pack team one and where one, team one and team two cards would be in packs at the same time. So a lot of you guys might be interested in buying some of these OTW cards as out of packs investments. And you're thinking about, hey, when do I want to buy an OTW Bale, Suarez, Werner for my team, yada, yada. Um, all I'm going to say is I don't think people are expecting these cards to be in packs for a second week. So maybe at this week's rewards, we could see a bit of a dip in price with all this, maybe a little bit of supply at rewards. But I would honestly, since we don't have weekend league rewards and last Thursday, there wasn't a lot of packs open. It was more just people took the coins. I would kind of expect a lot of these ones to watch cards to maybe even rise up a little bit throughout the week this week and trend upwards. Of course, unless we get some sort of SBC that would knock the market down or some tradable pack supply that would do that same thing. Some of these guys' lowest prices might have been tonight on Sunday or even early Monday. Werner's down right now. The lowest I've seen him is like 600K flat. Bale is pretty cheap. The lowest I've seen him is like 250, 240. So maybe you start eyeing these guys early in the week and, you know, make if you want to buy one of these for your team, it's like a longer term investment and you want to see, you think they're going to do well and get in forms and rise throughout the year. Maybe you look into that investment here kind of soon because I just don't know if they don't come back into packs. What is really going to supply these cards throughout the rest of this week? I'm just not entirely sure. So at least keep your these these cards on your radar if you want to buy any of them for your team, especially a guy like Suarez or Bale, because once we have the league games back this week, I mean, you know, Gareth Bale is supposed to be back on the 17th for Spurs, my squad, my favorite team. He's supposed to be back, and that's just going to create a lot of hype around this card. I would not be surprised if by Saturday or Sunday, uh, I think it's Saturday when Spurs play West Ham the 17th this week. I believe it's West Ham. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy is almost back up to like 280, 300, or almost 300,000 coins if he's named even on the bench, right? Because it's Gareth Bale back in the prem. There's a lot of hype and all that kind of stuff. Now, even a guy like Suarez or Timo Werner, prolific strikers that, uh, that can score goals almost at any time, you might even see those cards start to rise throughout the rest of this week as well. So just keep an eye on these ones to watch as if it's something that you're trying to invest in. You might want to get in earlier and take a chance that no other content comes that will make them drop uh, rather than later. And if we do get word that they're going to come out for a second week in packs, then, I mean, I think you'll see almost all of these cards rise out of packs or at least stay steady. And then if they do come back in, then they would drop. But we'll kind of address that when that comes. So just kind of my thoughts around the ones to watch cards as well. 
And then for trading this week, just look for quick flips, man. Honestly, position change and chemistry style trading, which I'm gonna have a video out on later today, is just absolutely king right now on the market. And just trading with daily fluctuations on the market too. Like a lot of these cards are just moving up and down, you know, daily and day and night fluctuations. A lot of informs, a lot of meta cards, guys like this that people are using in starter teams, uh, and even guys like Sane, who people are now upgrading to. Uh, from maybe somebody that was a lower rated and, and cheaper option. So you're seeing a lot of that stuff still happen on the market. A lot of footbin trends that you can use. The graphs on footbin, just search up some random cards on footbin, look on the popular page, and you'll notice that graphs do a lot of this. And that's definitely something you can learn. Monitor those graphs and learn how to make some coins just by fluctuation trading. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. It's kind of a little bit of a question mark in terms of what content EA is going to release. Something ones to watch related. We shall see in the next few days. But I do expect a couple more SBCs. I haven't even touched the live foot friendly thing yet. I don't know if you guys have, but uh, good luck on doing Jota if you're doing that. And of course, uh, hopefully we have a weekend league this weekend. That'd be pretty hype. And that would bring a lot of competitiveness to FIFA, man. Right now, it feels like we're just kind of all gearing up for that first weekend league. We're getting ready for it, trying to make coins, trying to upgrade our squads. And once that comes, it's going to feel like FIFA's in full swing. So that'll be interesting. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.